what's up guys so we're gonna be reading uh half a chapter uh, uh half a chapter of thomas l madison and i think we're on chapter six all right chapter six making moving pictures in 1884 at the height of the success tom suffered a terrible loss his wife, Mary, died of an illness. She was only 29 years old. Tom had his children stay in New York City. His electricity business was there. He must have spent as much time as possible with Mary and now 12. Thomas, now 8, and little William, who was only 5. Then in 1885, Tom had a young woman named Mina Miller. His, her family was from Ohio. Me and his father was a millionaire businessman, businessman and inventor who developed a very successful machine for harvesting grain. He himself received 92 patients in his lifetime. Tom fell in love with Mina almost at once. She was interesting and educated. He even taught her Morse code so they could talk. They, that they could talk to each other secretly, even among friends. It's, is it sad that Tom tapped out, Will you marry me? on the palm of her head, and Mina tapped back, Yes. Glenn. Glenmont. Nina and Tom were married in 1886 and moved to her grand home in Glenmont. Hold on. Uh, Glenmont. In West Orange, New Jersey. It was a great, it is a great deal too. Nice for me. But it is in half Nice for my little wife here, Tom said. Tom and Mina were happy together. He was still at work as much as he had been with Mary was alive. But Mina's father was also an inventor. Perhaps she understood Tom's word world better. Still, it wasn't so easy for 20-year-old Mina to become their young mother. The young mother of three children. Nor was it easy for Marion, who was only 14, and had become a cup patient to his father. father. Years later, she said Mina was too young to be a mother, to be, but too old to be a chum. Mina and Tom had three children, Madeline, Charles, and Theodore. Holidays, uh, Above were all were a time when Tom loved beginning be, be, being at home with his large family. Mina planned lavish parties for Thanksgiving, Christmas, and Easter, but the Fourth of July was all Tom's. Everything had to everyone had to go outside very early, even before breakfast. For the fireworks that Tom had made himself. After breakfast snaps for the younger children, they rushed out for more activities like picnics, a watermelon, and ice cream, and so it went on to the evening, ending another enormous display of fireworks. Unlikely Mary Mina loved Mary Mina loved having company. She gave large dinner parties which Tom often tried to avoid by pretending to be sick. Their guest book was filled with the names of famous people. Airplane, Pi Pioneer, 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 Orville Wright, author and lecturer Helen Keller, who was blind and deaf from the age of two, and automobile maker Henry Ford. He wrote at the end of his stay. 
two of the best days I've ever spent. Moving the Glamot made Tom decide to leave his Menlo Park Laboratory. Actually, you know what? I think I might actually read the whole book, guys. Alright? The whole chapter? Yeah, if I can. Laboratory. What? Okay. Keep going. Moving from moving the Gladbot made Tom decide to love leave his Menlo Park laboratory. He built a new laboratory complex a mile from his home in West Storage. He wanted to be the best in the world. I will have the best equipped and largest facility for rapid and cheap development of an invention. Tom declared, Tom had never forgotten his wish to give people what they wanted because of his great success with the electric light. He had the money, the power, and the influence to do it. The West Orange Complex opened in November 1887. It had a laboratory building three stories high. This was a phys there was a physic lab, a chest just mystery lab. Chemistry. Uh, chemistry lab, private lab, just forget about that guys. Just for Tom where he could focus and think about think without interruption. But for Tom, the center of West Storage was a library, large library with two glaze glaries. A forty foot ceiling, walls full of photographs and play cues and shovels filled with 10,000 books and magazines from all around the world. Here Tom had his desk and a conference table and it was here that Tom met the public, read investors, inventors, reporters, and editors. West Orange was 10 times larger than Menlo Park. And at uh, one time had many as 10,000 workers. And any one time as many as 30 companies worked on projects run by teams directed by Tom. Along with new ideas, Tom never lost interest in improving his baby, the photograph, the photograph. He might wander away from it and work on other inventions, but he always came back to it. Not everything was a success. One of the things the boys talked Tom into making was a talking doll for a, for a Boston company. A small cylinder was put. Hold on. inside the two foot tall dog. A handle to turn the cylinder came out of her back. The talking doll worked fine in the factory reciting poems at popular nursery rhymes. But when she reached the stores, nothing, all the thumping and bumping along the way had disturbed disturbed the me mechanism. Most of the dolls never said a word. In August 1889, Mina and Tom sailed to Paris for the Universal Exhibition. 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 This was like a big fair for showing new products for many for many countries. There was a huge Edison display. His photograph was the most popular attraction. Only the new Eiffel Tower, the highest structure in the world at the, that time, had more visitors. See? Mm hmm Good. And this is the Eiffel Tower. It's just like the Statue of Liberty. The Tour of Fun, I felt, stands 984 feet high over the city of Paris. 
It took 300 men two years to build it. It made, it, oh no, it is made of 50,000 pieces of iron held together by 2.5 million rivets. It could stay almost 5 inches and strong with 40 tons of paint are needed to cover the tower, which remained the tallest structure in the world until 1930 when the, Sil when the Chrysler Building, soon followed by the Empire State Building, w was erected in New York City. The Eiffel Tower was completed in 1889 for the 100 year anniversary of the French Revolution. Just Dave Eiffel's design won the competition from among the 700 trees set in it. Set in. Some years earlier, he had designed the iron skeleton for the inside of the Statue of Liberty. And he supervised the raising of his, the fam most famous lady in New York Harbor in 1886. Photographic guide. During this time, Tom visited a French man who, whose photographic guide had captured animals in motion, such as birds in flight. Tom was interested in moving pictures in October 1888. He had written, I am exper experimenting upon Kin, kin, kinetoscope, parallel, an instrument which does for the eye what the photograph does for the ear. This erupts I call a kinetoscope. Moving view. Tom was a pioneer in developing a system for filming and showing moving pictures. His kit kinetograph was the camera which took the pictures. His kinetoscope provided a way of looking at them. In 1893, the first motion picture studio in America was built at West Orange. He named it the Black Maria. Photography. What? Uh, I'll check how many pages. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six more pages. All right. The first successful photographic process was the daguerreotype, named after Frenchman Louis J. M. Dagri in 1837. It produced it a detailed black and white picture and was described as a mirror with a memory. The next important breakthrough came in 1851 when a British photographer, Frederick Scott Archer, discovered a way to make as many prints as he wanted to of an image. Then in 1888, American George Eastman introduced the Kodak box camera. It was easy to carry around, so photographers didn't have to stay in, in an indoor studio with a dark room nearby. It was cheap and easy to operate. And the role of celluloid or plastic film could take 100 black and white photographs. This film made it possible for Edison to make moving pictures. Box camera. About 50 feet long, the Black Maria was a weird looking structure. It had slanted roof that opened up with a pulley to let the sun 
in the sun. It sat on, that's the Black Maria, see? Mm -hmm. A rail platform with tracks like a railroad tracks and moved around in a circle following the path of the sun. Filming in the black. Alright, sorry about that, folks. Um, following the path of the sun. Filming in the Black Maria started in 1893. An early film showed a man sneezing, performed happily by a mechanic who worked at West Orange. The first boxing match event started. Film started heavyweight cup um, champion Gentleman Jim Corbett Edison also filmed the dance of dance groups, acrobats, clowns, jugglers, and even the world's strongest men. When Buffalo Bill's Wild West show came to town, sharp shooter, shooter Annie Oakley was filmed there too. Most were short pieces that lasted about 20 or 30 seconds. One of the uh, first stories filmed at West Orange was about firemen. They are woken up by a fire alarm and rushed off for, from the firehouse to a fire. That they saved a baby and pulled out the fire. There wasn't any sound. Still people were excited to look at it. Todd's main interest in movies was in making better equipment like his um, nistoscope and his nitograph. Alright, well, this is the last page. But as time went on, he drifted away to work on other ideas. He was not as closely involved as he had been with the photograph and the light bulb. He offered suggestions to his team, but he let them do a lot of ideas and improvements without them. Eventually, he decided to get out of the movie business. And that's the end of chapter 6. Zona Ever signing off.